In the beginning, there was Taaroa, the unique. He was his own creator, and he lived in a shell. One day, he became bored, broke the shell, and slipped outside it. Everything was dark and silent. He was alone. And so he created the world. He called the first island Bora Bora. At that time, men and animals lived in perfect harmony and shared everything in the lagoon, air, water, and space. Taharoa had a beautiful blue shark that he adored. The shark would swim alongside men, carrying children on his back. One day, however, the men were warned to treat him with mistrust. Suddenly, the shark became an evil, harmful creature. Two courageous brothers decided to confront him. They succeeded in running him through with their spear and thought they had killed him. Suddenly, Taharoa appeared, seized his shark, raised him out of the water, and carried him up to the stars. He restored life to his beloved animal. And that is why today, to appease Taharoa's anger, I protect and feed the sharks in the lagoon. When the men first arrived, rising out of the sea aboard large pirogues, they settled on the Motu, the little islands that separate the coral reef from the main island. This is where I live, on the Toopua Motu. Here, time does not exist. The slow-moving shadow is our only clock. Every evening, it tells us to cast our nets along the lagoon. I wonder why there are no fish. It's strange, isn't it? The last time it was because of the sharks. There were lots of them, remember? All along the banks. We couldn't fish for a week. Maybe it's because the rains are coming. Don't you think so? Or a storm? Tomorrow, I'm going to have to fish in the enclosure. 
head. Mm. The enclosure is a trap. At high tide, the fish swim in and can't get out. There are only three left in Bora Bora. The first time I fished here was with my father. The fish enclosure is inherited, passed down from generation to generation. It seems that I'm not the only one fishing here today. There must be another parrot fish lover in the area. Half of this one's back has been torn off. Listen, you're still young, you don't know it, but you cannot stay here. This is no place for sharks. This enclosure is for man, and the fish that come here are ours. I don't mind sharing the fish in the lagoon with you, but not here. You must respect my space, and so I'm asking you to leave and stay with your own kind. Every day I call them and they come by the dozens. They know that before I go back, I share my catch with them. The sea gives me many fish, and it's only natural that some of these fish return to the sea. Oh. 
Hare Maru, Hare Maru, Hare Maru. Ray or skatefish are sharks. They have a common ancestor, but we don't know which one. Here we call them stingrays. Nobody can go near them because their tongues contain poison. My father lives on the island of Bora Bora, in the mountains above the bay of Povai. It's me, father. Look, I've brought you lots of fish. Red mullet, parrotfish. Hang them up there. I'll eat them tomorrow. You know, there was a little shark in the enclosure, a black point. I caught him and set him free, but not before he ate a little. Look. Listen, Taharoa sends us the first rains and the sharks are very hungry. It's a message. It must be answered. You must go and talk to the great sharks in the lagoon.
In November, when Mount Otemanu blocks the clouds, it rains day and night. The interior of the island is wild, almost hostile. If the first Polynesian survived, it was thanks to the coconut palm, the tree that provides shelter, food and drink, the tree of life. For us, it is time to gather the new, the coconut leaves. They cover the roofs of our fari, our homes. We change them every two or three years. I tie the nyau with strips of purao, or tree bark, which we use as rope. My father has decided to gather our whole family together around the oven. We only light it for important occasions. Today, it's to encourage me and to protect me before I meet the sharks. While we wait for the wood to burn and for the volcanic rocks to heat up, we prepare the food. We surround the fish with banana leaves. My father frays the mou to receive the coconut milk. It will be used to crush the flesh of the nut. Finally, the oven is covered with banana leaves. The food has to be braised for four hours. Taharoa, we are gathered here to pay our respects to you, for you are the unique, your own creator and the creator of the world. Make all living things live in peace once again and make the sharks respect the territory of man. <laughs> Yeah, 
This meal is an offering. It gives me the courage to capture the great Maori, the shark of the lagoon. I will talk to him. He will be the messenger we send to Taharoa on our behalf. So as not to hurt the shark, I lasso him. When he takes the bait, the rope tightens and the knot closes around him. Taharoa 
Here is the descendant of your beautiful blue shark. I have captured him, but I do not want to kill him. I return him to you to seal the alliance between us, your children. Gently, gently, calm down. Shark, go and tell your own that man wishes you no harm, that you must respect us, your brothers, because Taharoa created us all to share the same waters. Mountain resounds. Taharoa answers man. Fisherman and shark can once again live in peace on the island of Bora Bora. <laughs> 